Hey, what's up everybody? Finally back with rookie mistake number eight, and this one might ruffle some of your feathers because uh, I'm gonna get into something that's a pretty popular trend nowadays, and it works for some people. I used to do it, but it doesn't work for everyone, and it doesn't work for every trick. Uh, before I get into that, I wanna talk about all the patrons. Thank you guys for your support. It's been growing more than I ever expected. I appreciate you all. Just did a Q&A that I do once a month only for patrons where they get to ask me specific questions and I answer them in a video. So if you're interested in asking me specific questions, like I said, I won't be answering them in the comments because the volume's too much and I ain't got time for that. Uh, and also if you'd like to do video lessons with me, like I've been doing with some of the patrons at the highest tier, hit up that Patreon. Also, www.collageskateboards.com, pick up a deck. We are actually gonna be partnering with a distributor pretty soon, the launch is coming. And so, what we have left is what we have left of these boards, but we got new graphics, new t-shirts, new hats, a bunch of stuff like that coming when the distribution drops. So stay tuned for that as well. Let's get into rookie mistake number eight. And what it is is, your trucks are probably too loose, okay? It's a big trend to ride loose trucks. I myself get trucks from Ace, and they even have stickers that say loose trucks save lives, which is pretty funny. I used to skate my trucks really, really loose for a period of time, but as I grew and put on some man weight, you know, I realized that the trucks were stopping me from being able to skate to the best of my ability. This also coincided with me realizing how much pop I had, and spoiler alert, Pop and loose trucks don't go hand in hand. So when you're trying a skateboard trick, you're contending with a few things. One of those is your physicality, the way that your body works. What we do on a skateboard is pretty counterintuitive uh, to most body movement. For instance, when we get scared as human beings, we tend to straighten up and stiffen up, right? So when your sympathetic nervous system is activated, we tend to tense up and stiffen up, right? But on your skateboard, if you do this, you're gonna eat it, right? You stand tall, you fall. That's what I like to tell my students. So we have to teach ourselves to crouch down when we're afraid so that we don't fall as hard. We have to teach ourselves to crouch down to perform our tricks so that we can get the most out of the pop, out of the force that we're generating into the board, right? And this is just not a normal human movement. Well, when you're trying to pop and you squat down and your trucks are extremely loose, you're gonna get wheel bite, right? As soon as you squat down, your trucks are gonna start to rock from side to side. So you have to unlearn this. You're contending with your body. The other thing that you're contending with is just your lack of experience with whatever trick you're trying to learn, right? So if you're trying to learn how to ollie, well, you've never done it before. So you don't have the muscle memory and you don't even know that you don't have the muscle memory. You don't even know that you're not used to the actions you need to perform. So that's the second thing you're contending with. It's your lack of experience. The third thing that you're contending with is your board. And I've said this in so many videos, your skateboard is an inanimate object. It doesn't do anything except what we put into it. So if your trucks are loose, it's more sensitive to your movements. That means when you're crouching down, the board's gonna take that stimulus that you put, stimuli that you're putting into it, and the trucks are gonna rock back and forth. And when the trucks rock back and forth, they're going to absorb some of the power that you're trying to put into your board. The same reason that we bend our knees when we land a trick, because we wanna absorb the impact through the whole of our body instead of straight into our joints so that we don't tear up our joints anymore that we have to. Well, your trucks are gonna do the same thing, right? Your trucks have bushings, which are urethane. They have pivot cups, which are urethane. There are wheels, which are urethane. And all of that urethane is gonna absorb the power that you're putting into the board. So if your trucks are too loose, you're just cutting that power in half or maybe worse. And also as a beginner, when you're trying to make movements happen, say for instance, you're trying a kickflip, right? And you've never done a kickflip before. Well. You're not used to having your feet in the proper position for a kickflip. And what's worse, you're not used to crouching down and balancing while your feet are in that position. So if your trucks are rocking back and forth while you're trying to stabilize the board with your feet in a position you're not used to, you're not going to be able to do it. And 
you've got to tighten up your trucks. Now, I'm not saying you have to skate your trucks 90s tight, the way that I skated my trucks when I started out, because everyone did. Also, trucks were pieces of garbage back then, so you kind of had to keep them tight, because when they were loose, it felt like they were just like rocking back and forth on a rock, not a bushing. The trucks back in the 90s were awful compared to today's trucks. There's really been strides made in the materials and the geometry. I mean, kingpins used to break left and right. It was atrocious. Uh, so now what you can do is you can get your trucks the way you like them. I know that it's a trend to skate your trucks very loose. I know that there's people who talk about it, but what you have to realize is the people that are talking about how loose their trucks are, are basically experts. They learned how to do these tricks and now loose trucks serve the way that they skate today right loose trucks may not have served them when they were a beginner and as a beginner i've said this before in other videos as well you shouldn't be worried about style you should be worried about learning to do the tricks then learning to do the tricks consistently and then once these tricks are second nature to you your style will reveal itself right as the result of skaters that you've seen and you admire and the way that your body works but if you're worried about style and having your trucks the way other people have their trucks and you know doing your tricks the way other people do their tricks in the beginning you're shooting yourself in the foot you're not going to be able to learn as easy and you might quit skating because it might get too frustrating so i recommend that you guys tighten up your trucks um i had to tighten up my trucks because i was skating them extremely loose for a while and i'll put some footage of a video that i shot with nigel alexander uh, over this so that you can see how loose my trucks were because it's in extreme slow motion and you'll see that as soon as I pop even when I'm skating a rail while I'm on the rail the trucks are just rocking back and forth so much that's because I would put the trucks on and not touch them and they would get extremely loose now what happened is I was about 26 27 at the time and you start to put on a little bit of weight also as a lifelong athlete your bones become denser which is also adding weight to your body. Uh, and so I started to get more wheel bite. And I realized that it was because of how loose my trucks were. And I was also jumping down stairs. And I remember like this particular nollie back heel I did down this 11 stair. I remember I had to go two different times. And the first time was at night and I kept landing on it and landing on it and landing on it and just smacking into the ground and stopping and smacking my hand. My palm was swollen up to twice its size afterwards. And when I watched some of the make, some of the sticks before we went back, I realized my trucks were too loose. I was just getting wheel bite, that's all it was. So I tightened my trucks up just a little bit to about medium. I also put some wax in the wheel well of my trucks and I rolled away and it didn't take me that long. It wasn't even that much of a battle. And from that day on, I skate my trucks medium. And that's not even the end of it because your trucks are gonna loosen up as you skate. So periodically, you're gonna have to check them and tighten them up. And this also coincided with me starting to pop higher, starting to skate higher things. And what I realized is what I mentioned to you guys earlier, when I'm trying to skate a big giant ledge, and I need to be as efficient as possible with my pop and my trucks were loose even me someone who at the time had been skating for maybe 15 years when I squat down the board is moving a bit from side to side and that's just taking away from the force that I put into the board so started skating my trucks medium you can still turn on medium trucks uh, and I can pop the way that I pop today until this day I keep my trucks medium uh, when I feel the front truck especially, because for me it's the front truck that tends to loosen up the most, uh, I tighten it up a little bit. So what I recommend for you guys is stand on your board, do an ollie. When you squat down and you feel the board rock, you know that your board's too loose. When you're trying to learn a trick like a kickflip or a tray flip, like I see kids at the skate park all the time trying to learn a trick and they're bending down and they're having to stay down way longer than they should because their trucks rock back and forth and they have to wait till they can stabilize the board. And it never dawns on them that the reason this is happening is that their trucks are too loose and if they tighten their trucks up a bit, they would have one less thing to contend with and it would make their learning a lot easier. It would facilitate them doing that trick. So start with a half a turn of the truck. Tighten it up, half a turn, both trucks. Get on your board, try that ollie again. See how that feels. If it feels a little more stable, fine, you've reached your point, keep skating. If it still feels too loose and you can't control the board enough to make your trick easier, go another quarter of a turn 
and so on and so forth until it feels good enough for you to land your tricks. Now, some of you might have to tighten your trucks up a considerable bit to make this work, but don't worry about it because what's important is you learning how to do these tricks so that you can do them a lot and have more fun because at least in my opinion, if you're just flailing and not landing anything, that's not fun. And a lot of the times that's the reason why people quit skating. A lot of times that's what leads to people sitting down at the skate park with this slumped expression on their face because they try to trick so many times, it's an exhaustive process and they're just deflated. And if this happens too many times, you're not gonna have fun, you're not gonna wanna skate anymore. So we have to minimize all of the things that are affecting our ability to skate well. And that's about it. Your trucks are probably too loose, you beginners out there. Now, some of you guys are gonna say, I love my trucks loose, and that's fine. This video is not for you. Uh, it's not for everybody. Some of you might not be trying flip tricks. Some of you might be skating transition, which in my opinion, I still skate my trucks medium for transition. I'm not a transition guy. I don't have as much fun skating transition. Don't care to skate it, never did. I'm from LA. I watch the old school LA videos, so that's not a big deal for me. But for you guys who like your trucks loose, and more importantly, you guys who have success with your trucks loose, keep them loose. You know, I'm not saying everybody has to skate the same way, but this is a big issue that I see a lot of beginners having when they're trying to do flip tricks, when they're trying to do grinds, when they're trying to ollie higher, they're squatting down and their trucks are rocking back and forth. And then when they land, they're getting wheel bite and it's all because of your trucks. So tighten them up a little bit. Hope that works. Enjoy skateboarding. Peace.